Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Jalal Ahmed and in this tutorial we are going to learn something new. So you can see when I select any of the row in this table it fills all of these fields accordingly. So how to fill these fields according to the selection made in this J-Combo box. For that purpose let me show you the method. Click on this uh, click on this J-Combo box, come to events and under events click uh, hover over the pop-up menu and click on the pop-up menu will become invisible the second one okay for that purpose uh, you have to write code in here follow my steps write string uh, item is equal to uh, in the brackets write string again and after this take the variable name copy it and paste it in here and dot get selected item so what we have done in this line of code we have taken the selected item and converted into the string and stored in the string variable named as item after this write string sql we have to write the sql query for that select select all sorry all from users users is the name of table so in your case uh, the database table in your case uh, name of the table can be anything in my case it is users where id is equal to okay write it the same uh, i took id because it is the name of the column which i have uh, i have in my database table in your case it can be anything it can be any column it can be any name in my case it is the column name named as id id sorry so after that write try catch block and in here write pst is equal to con dot sorry prepare statement write it the same uh, if you are confused with this line of code with these variables pst and con let me show you where are these uh, defined come at the start of the uh, code I have I have defined these variables in here I have declared these in in here uh, you can see con con is the connection variable PST is the prepared statement variable and result set is the uh, uh, RS is the result set variable so moving back towards the code which we have left in the middle so for that purpose uh, I don't worry I will tell you everything about the code which I write right now okay uh, write PST dot set string right here one and write here the item after that write RS is equal to PST dot execute query so what we have what we have done in this line of code we have put the SQL query we have um, sent the SQL query to the database and it it got everything from the database and uh, now that it, uh, the, everything is contained in this variable so after that if rs dot next if if everything is successfully done then what we have to do ahead of this so if rs is equal to next then take a string variable with the name as let us since i am first filling this one uh, let me show you let let me show you uh, first name i will show in the database as well these are the database table id first name last name father city country etc so first name the column name is F name string first name is equal to and after that RS dot get string and in here in in this part of the code you have to write the name of the column name of the column is F name means the first name right here F name okay now apply this first name the column the variable name of this text field is F name 
okay come here and write f name dot set text as this one so let me run this code okay when i select this one it fills here you can see 17 it's the name in here it's the name in here you can you can check it in here okay when i do this sorry clear everything you can see i change it it is changed okay so means our code is running so we have to fill now all of the fields accordingly so instead of writing all of this just take this part of the code and write in here what if i remove this part of the code and now i will run it let's check you can do it is working fine okay okay copy it paste it we are doing it for all of the fields one two three four five okay so the first one is done take the name of this variable it is l name copy it and paste it similarly we have to write here the name of the field so in the data paste table you can see it is the same name l name sorry uh, l name okay in the in this part copy this code this variable and write in here so in the database table this one is also the father name of the uh, column is father okay this one city copy this variable name paste it in here and now for this for here come to the database table it is also named as city write it as city okay now for the last one it is named as country copy and paste and what we have to write in here it is also named as country Entry. now let's run the code I am selecting any of the item and it is changed accordingly so that was about this tutorial if you like my video if you like this tutorial please um, hit like button uh, rate and comment subscribe and, my, and subscribe my channel thank you for now